One of the things I've started doing is, is a practice of breathing down to the deep self. I take this idea of the deep self and, and, and I'll just, a couple of things about it. So the first, this is from alchemy. The first thing is when the ego realizes there's a deep self, oh my God, you know, I'm not really in charge of this thing. I'm actually like the front man for, a, for something much deeper. So then the ego realizes it doesn't have to take it on. So then go to the deep self, the deep self, is fully aware and, and, and centered and not thrown out of balance by a world out of balance. So then the second part of it is when the ego begins to realize the self is there all the time. That all I have to do is turn towards the self and there it is. This is called the second conjunctio to use you know, the Latin. The first conjunctio is when the ego goes, holy crap, there's a deep self? I thought, I, I thought it was about me. And it turns out it's not. The second one is when the ego realizes I can just turn and find that self. Or for instance, um, if a person has a practice, like drumming, there was a doctor that used to come to uh, events all the time and he'd sit right in the front and watch. And one day I said, what are you doing? You're like suddenly sitting watching. He said, I'm watching how you get centered as soon as you hit the drum. And I'm pers a person studying heart rhythms. He said, and near as I can tell, as soon as you start drumming, your heart goes into rhythm. And I wonder if you would come to my laboratory so we could test it. And, and so I went and then got hooked up to some machinery. And, and sure enough, as soon as I drum, my, my heart goes into rhythm. And so he's, he wound up, he was trying to understand most people's hearts are way out of rhythm. And he says, most people have a heart rhythm like a person in New York who just left Starbucks and is trying to cross a big avenue. <laughs> he said, most people are like arrhythmic. Um, uh, so, but he says, one, if you have a practice that brings you into center, then it can happen very fast. So the same thing with the ego. The ego starts to realize, oh, I'm getting scared or I'm getting overwhelmed or I'm getting, feeling like doing something reckless. Uh, oh, wait a minute, let me breathe, let me go down and touch. And then the third conjunctio is when the ego becomes in service of the deep self. It just goes in service. And it says, no, I know I have to get up, I have to clean the house, or maybe I should eat something now, but my practice is to serve the deep self when it arises. And so I'm also suggesting that the answers are not coming from the us that's used to doing things. The answers have to come from somewhere else because the size of the problem has gotten so great.